Hey guys, this is Baby Einstein Encyclopedia 13197. And sorry for the long hiatus, but I'm going to explain all of the eras of Baby Einstein. So let's get started. So first there's the Egner Clark period, which lasted from 1997 to when FHE distributed the videos. And the videos are mostly non-educational. There was little composer variety. There was only like Mozart, Bach, and Beethoven. Uh, Clark made and distributed all the videos. Uh, the puppets were not just from Legends and Lore, they were from multiple companies like Daken and others. And there was a wide variety of toys. So let's move on to the FHE period. This is uh, 2000 to late 2001 when Disney bought the company. Uh, the editing got more professional. The green screen was introduced in Baby Van Gogh. That was the first video to use the green screen. It was mostly educational. And more Legends and Lore puppets were used. The stock footage became more common. As I said before, the videos were distributed by FHE. And let's move on to the pre-Disney period, which lasted from late 2001 to 2002. This was the shortest period. It would only, only two videos came from this period. The company was bought by Disney at this time in fall 2001. The puppets looked more, more professional because they were made by Dave Privet. Baby Newton tried to experiment with CGI, but it got bad reviews on Amazon, so Baby Beethoven was made. And then let's move on to Classic Disney, 2003 to 2005. DVD and VHS covers were updated. Clark couldn't make videos anymore, but she helped with like the numbered nursery poems and other stuff. The video topics became more about like vocabulary, like water, space, stuff on the farm, the body parts. In late 2004, old videos were updated with new, more modern toys. There were new DVD menus in 2003. Concert halls uh, were no longer a thing. That sucked. Uh, there was more professional editing. And videos started to, to be released faster, like in the pre-Disney period and like the FHE period. Only two videos were released per year. Uh, now, I mean like in 2003, there was three videos released per year. And some of the videos had different composers like Callens, he composed Baby the music for Baby Da Vinci and Baby Wordsworth. Rosh, who composed the Baby Monet conga. And baby's first moves and there were others so let's move on to modern disney there were no more videos released on vhs at this time oh yeah it released it was in 2006 to 2008 2d animation was used more often the dvd covers got a makeover in 2007 the soundtracks got shorter like there are fewer songs which sucks then there's the remastered period. This is after the FTC complaint, I think. It lasted from 2008 to 2009. Baby Mozart and Baby Beethoven were remastered in 2008. Six Disney videos were remastered in 2009. They were Baby Neptune, Baby McDonald, Baby Noah, Baby Wordsworth, My, uh, My First Signs, and Baby's First Moves. Let's see here. Okay, videos featuring the seven continents were made, like World Music and World Animal Adventure. And they were going to make World of Colors in 2010, but that got cancelled. Then there's the Discovery Kit era, which lasted from 2010 to 2013. Discovery Kits were made. They were Baby Mozart, uh, Baby Beethoven, Baby Lullaby, Animals Around Me, Wild Animal Safari, Neptune's Oceans, World of Words, World of Colors, and World of Rhythm. And the uh, old videos, like the 2007 DVDs, were taken off store shelves at that time. And then we get to the current era, the Kids 2 era, which lasted from 2013 and is going on right now. 
they made a new logo, which absolutely sucks. It's now a toy company. And the videos are on Amazon, and they're on YouTube, all well, clips of them. And Kids 2 takes down our videos, which sucks. Okay, guys, that was the Baby Einstein eras. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video.